One of my subscribers has asked me to help Marquise Brown get a ring with the Kansas City Chiefs as they have recently just signed him on a one-year $11 million a year contract. And overall, I think it's a great signing for the Chiefs. Rasheel Rice was really their only receiver whenever Travis Kelsey was injured, of course. But Marquise Brown, he's probably going to get a ring with the Chiefs, if I'm being real. And in this rebuild, I'm just going to be trying to get as many rings as I possibly can with the Chiefs. It's a little bit weird of an intro because I usually started out with, we're going to be rebuilding. Obviously, I don't want some smart ass in my comments to be like, oh, technically, Vic, the uh, Chiefs don't need a rebuild. They just won the Super Bowl, and they're probably going to go for a repeat. So I'm not going to worry about that. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and or subscribe. We recently just passed over a thousand, not a thousand, 11,000 subscribers. You got to times that by 11. So really, really cool. But for the team, Patch Mahomes, Isaiah Pacheco, Super Bowl winning team. I'm not going to explain it much. I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to retain Hollywood Brown as long as I can. And then, of course, I'm going to trade Kadarius' Tony, Tony's bum ass. Legereus Sneed, the trade rumors are just keep cooking up and up and away, and they keep paying more and more players. So I think Legereus Sneed, I will trade him. But for now, let's move into the draft. At the end of the first round, the Kansas City Chiefs are picking up wide receiver Xavier Worthy, another speed demon to add to their team. 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 5'11", 167 out of Texas, hidden dev. His skills aren't crazy, but it's about the speed, baby. In the second round, the Chiefs are picking up TJ Tampa out of Iowa State. I don't know if he falls this far. It's pick number 32 in the second round, but he was here, so I'm going to take him. Hidden Dev, 89 speed, 92 acceleration, solid skills across the board. Now I'm trading the bum Kadarius Tony to the New England Patriots for a next year's sixth round pick. Yes, in Madden, I'm aware that I can get probably at least a third round pick, but in real life, this dude probably is going to get cut by the Chiefs if he keeps performing the way he is. So I'm trading him away for a six round pick. Now I'm trading away Legereus Need to the Cardinals for a next year's first round pick. Maybe this won't go through in real life because the Cardinals are going to have like a top 10 pick for the rest of eternity because the Cardinals suck. But anyways, it's a next year's first in Madden. And I think that's fair for Legereus Need who's a 91 overall. This is the new overlook of the team going into the season. Xavier Worthy is a 78 overall and that's a little bit high, but we got Shipley, I guess in the later rounds because I didn't pick him. Same thing with Van Pran. I didn't pick him either, but AI is picking some baller players. I'm just going to keep this left tackle the way it is right now. Honestly, one of the better offensive lines Patrick Mahomes has ever had whenever we look back at the Super Bowl and whenever he was facing Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. But for the defense, TJ Tampa is 73 overall. That's fine with me. The Even the backs don't even look that bad. Jalen Watson, I'm going to be real. I forgot who Jalen Watson was for a second. I blanked there, but now I remember. Please don't grill me in the comments. This is what we got for the team. George Karloftis, Felix Uzama is what I'm going to call him. Chris Jones, Derek Nadi, who just got re-signed on a one-year deal. Nick Bolton, Chanel, I forgot. Leo Chanel. I'm going to be honest. I haven't heard of him. <laughs> I have not heard of this man. I'm going to get grilled in the comments just because I don't follow up with every aspect of every other team doesn't mean I don't know ball. Please don't kill me. Got Justin Reed and Cook here. So apart from that, let's see if we can get a ring in year number one. We probably will with Marquise Brown. Four and three at the midseason mark. No way the Raiders, there's no way the Raiders are six and one with Gardner Minshew. They had to have traded up or something. There's no way that they are balling this hard with Gardner Min Baker. Baker's a baller. I don't know how he even got in free agency. Well, in Madden, you can't update contracts. So sorry, he just hit free agency and now he's balling. We have a breakout DB here. He's going to be, it's going to be Jalen Watson, the guy who I said I almost didn't know before. So Anyways, we're going to play the Texans. Hopefully, Jalen Watson does go up to superstar to make our Kansas City Chiefs team even more cracked than it already was. Scouting national focus. already got my receivers. I'm fine with who I, who I have at receiver. Team's cracked. I literally don't need anything. Sure, let's go with uh, left tackle, offensive tackle here. For the players ready to negotiate, it's about maintaining the team here because I know I'm going to lose a lot of people and I can't afford to keep people that just don't want to be here. So I'm probably going to miss out on Justin Reed here. He just doesn't like my scheme. Boo hoo. <laughs> uh, Nick Bolton, he's coming back. I always see him in free agency in Madden. I'm not going to allow that to happen here. Trey Smith or Creed Humphrey. I think I'm going to re-sign Creed Humphrey first. Five million, not five million, five years, 13 million a year. Trey Smith, he wants 20 million a year. Justin Reed, Derek Nadi, Charles and Menahu, who got suspended. Harrison Butker. I'll just draft a new kicker if I have to. Like, I know it's like he, he would get re-signed in real life, but it's like, do I do it? Sure. You know what? I'll do it. I'm not going to try to justify not re-signing a kicker who's been really, really good. Matt Ariza, the, um, the punt god, baby. Does he have 99 punt? 
He wants to be in Missouri? Dog, you should be lucky that you're anywhere after the allegations you just fought through. Trent McDuffie, George Karloftis, I'll accept both their options because I don't want to pay them. Trey Smith, I'll resign as well. Resign him. Don't have much money left. I'm going to lose out on Justin Reed, Derek Nadi, Charles Menehu, the punt god, and I'll just accept both these guys' options. So let's move into the playoffs. 13 and 4, top of the division, first round by my defensive passing game is 26th. That's just Madden for you. <laughs> Stats and awards. Let's see what we got here. Patch Mahomes. You know, it, it's Patch Mahomes. Third best offense in the league defensively 21st sure ea 4300 yards 36 touchdowns to only three interceptions is amazing 122 pass rating isaiah pacheco 19 touchdowns 5.0 per carry 1400 yards i'm not gonna lie i feel like i'm already bored with this rebuild because it's the chiefs i know i'm just trying to get marquise brown a ring i'm not rebuilding anything <laughs> i'm just playing until we get to the super bowl rasheed rice 114 receptions almost 1500 yards 13 touchdowns that's gonna be x factor marquise brown four touchdowns 900 yards xavier worthy nine touchdowns 877 yards defensively nick bolton 133 tackles tackles for a loss 15 for chris jones sacks 12 for chris jones nine for charles amena who i'm still not gonna resign him six for bj thompson and three interceptions for jalen watson who i forgot to look at his breakout challenge who cares zero safeties zero defensive touchdowns let's see who we're playing in a divisional round in the divisional round if we win the divisional round i'm not even gonna hop into the conference championship because the team is so stacked it's literally the chiefs ravens that's already a hard one off the rip lamar goes crazy in simulation and in real life and we beat them 44 to 38 can we beat the dolphins like we beat them in the wild card last year to move on to the super bowl we don't wow really tua beats us to face jordan love let's move into the offseason and Jordan Love beats Tua in the Super Bowl. Josh Jacobs wins the Super Bowl MVP. Dak wins the league MVP. And there are no awards here for the Chiefs. In the AFC West, Alexander Johnson and Corey Lindsley both retire. Now, this is the team after the upgrades. Rasheed Rice is an X-Factor. Xavier Worthy has superstar dev. Creed Humphrey gets superstar dev. I'm glad I re-signed him when I, when I did. I don't know why I'm starting to have hiccups, dude. I swear, I have hiccups at the start of every single time I record. At the start of every video. It's very annoying for me. Defensively, what do we have? Leo Chanel out here with Superstar Dev. That's baller. Anyone else? No. Let's move into the re-signings. For the players ready to negotiate, I'm going to accept the option on Trent McDuffie and George Karloftis. And honestly, I don't want Justin Reed to hit the open market whenever I could get value out of him. I'm going to tag and trade him because it's... Oh, what? why does it say I suddenly have negative six million? Oh, it's because I have to do... Okay, team friendly, spread out the contract, drop it. I'm going to offer him a bad contract. If I can get value out of him, why would I not get value out of him, you know? Instead of letting him hit the open market, I have money and I'm immediately going to trade him. It's not like I'm going to be losing anything by trading him. So I'm going to tag and trade Justin Reed here. Uh, and for now, we're in negative cap room. I'm about to change that. Let's move into the draft. We get pick number three in the draft from the Cardinals. Legereus Need is balling, baby. These are so bad. You know what? I'm going to trade away pick three to the Texans and get two first round picks and a second this year. Well, in later years, I guess. Later, later years. But the Texans are screwed for the next two years. But they're going to pick a left end. To, oh my God. You get Daniil Hunter and Will Anderson and this guy, apparently. Screw the left tackle. Got a new strong safety, Jay Bowens out of TCU. Normal dev, six foot, 208, 91 speed, 92 acceleration. He's going to replace Justin Reed. Now I'm trading away Justin Reed to the Steelers for their second round pick. Now in the second round, I'm getting our left tackle, Brendan Clinton. So I basically just traded my strong safety, who was going to hit free agency regardless, for Brendan Clinton out of Florida State. 6'5", 320, 85 strength, 80, 77 acceleration. 87 acceleration would be crazy for, at 320, but hit and dev, A's and B's across the board. With my other second round pick, middle linebacker Drew Robertson out of Alabama. 6'3", 336, 89 speed, 88 acceleration, hit and dev, A zone coverage, and B awareness. And in the third round, picking up left outside linebacker Patrick Keys at a Youngstown State 6'5", 262. Oh my God, very balanced. Hit and dev, bees across the board. This is the team after the draft. Going to start Bill Clinton here. <laughs> not Bill Clinton. Our new left tackle is going to start, of course. And then Keys is 67, not bad. Bowens is 75. That's not bad either. Just no dev really sucks. TJ Tampa, we're going to move up on the depth chart. We're also going to make him the slot. Rush right end. Why is George Carl Lawson? Why is Carl Lawson playing? Like, I literally have two guys that are starting all over him. Why are they not playing? Like, EA, come on. Xavier Worthy is going to be in the slot, and I'm honestly going to adjust my scheme here. 
So it was 4-3 cover, and that's mainly for safeties. We're going to do in players in the box, weak side offense, line shift, designed to confuse blocking assignments, heavy blitzes, auto man, overwhelm offenses, generating pass rush with minimal blitzing, defensive formation, allowing defenders to drop into coverage. Okay, yeah, I like that one a little bit better because we do have nice defensive linemen here with Chris Jones, George Karloff, this Hopefully Felix Uzama develops in real life, but for now, let's move into the midseason. Midseason mark, six and one top of the division. Broncos 0 and seven. R rough days, bro. <laughs> rough times after losing Russell Wilson. Coming off a 31 to 10 win against the Broncos. I guess depth at defensive line, more defensive tackles. Yay. So obviously the objective of the Chiefs is not to maintain, is not to rebuild the team, but it's to maintain the team is what I meant to say there. So I'm going to try to maintain it the best I possibly can. Leo Chanel. Who wants a big market? I mean, I guess Missouri isn't. Yes, Kansas City is in Missouri, not Kansas, just so you know. Um, Marquise Brown, of course, I want him back. He's part of the rebuild. Jalen Watson, Isaiah Pacheco is a must-have, 12 million a year. He resigns, I hope, yeah. Charles, uh, Leo Chanel, I'll probably trade him, tag and trade. Jalen Watson isn't a bad move here. I'll do three years with him, pretty cheap contract overall. And then Marquise Brown, oh, he doesn't even resign. Marquise Brown, I'm keeping for the rest of the rebuild, around 12 million a year for him. And anyone else? Brian Cook, it's not bad actually, stupid cheap deal for him. Solid overall, we'll keep him. Jalen Watson, I want back. I think I'm gonna have to let Joe Thune go. Travis Kelsey might retire. Rough times. Rough times. Carl Lawson's definitely a no. Felix Uzama will probably just accept this option to try and maintain the team. Probably won't be able to tag and trade anyone. I'm probably going to have to tag Travis Kelsey. Joe Thune's going to have to walk. I don't have the money to pay him. 12-5, and five, top of the division here to face the 8-9 Chargers without Keenan Allen. Stats and awards. Let's see what we got here. Mahomes, league MVP potentially for most passing yards. No, he is number five. I switched out of the Kansas City offensive playbook and moved into Dallas, which is a little bit more balanced. and gives us the second best offense, 12th best defense, 4,600 yards, 31 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, 111 pass rating. Isaiah Pacheco, 15 touchdowns, 4.3 per carry, 1,300 yards. Rasheed Rice, 101 receptions, almost 1,300 yards, but only 6 touchdowns. Xavier Worthy, 12 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. He's balling out. Marquise Brown, over 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns. Kelsey, 5 touchdowns, 900 yards. Defensively, Nick Bolton, 117 tackles, tackles for a loss, 16 for field. Felix Uzama, sacks 12 for Chris Jones, seven and a half for Felix Uzama. He's kind of developing. George Karloftis with 16 tackles for a loss and six and a half sacks. Interceptions, three for TJ Tampa. There's only four interceptions total throughout the entire year. It's kind of crazy. Safety, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. So anyways, let's see if we can beat our division rivals, the eight and nine Chargers to move on to the divisional. Some of you guys may be saying, oh, how have you not won a Super Bowl? You're in year number two. It's like, because it's whenever, as soon as I take over the team, the AI is like, no, you're going to lose. Joe Burrow and the Bengals, this is actually going to be a pretty hard game. If we lose, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I'm going into year number three and I've yet to win a Super Bowl with the Chiefs. You know what? No, I'm, I'm going back to the Chiefs playbook. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm tired of this. I'm not going to lose because I'm not going to lose as a Chiefs user and then be grilled by not being able to get a Super Bowl win. And the Niners smacked the Bills in the Super Bowl, handing them another Super Bowl loss. 0-5 in the Super Bowl for the Bills. And Brock Purdy wins the Super Bowl MVP. Joe Burrow wins the league MVP. And there are no awards here for the Chiefs. In the AFC West, Khalil Mack retires with the Chargers. For the team upgrades offensively, we look the exact same. Bill Clinton here with Stardev. Anyone else here with upgrades? Robertson has Stardev. Keys has Stardev. Unfortunate that my strong safety didn't get upgraded. No other upgrades here, though, for the team. Let's move into the re-signings. Actually, Greg Hall has Stardev. I just noticed that. For the team re-signings, Leo, I'm going to have to let go. Felix, I'm going to accept your option. Jalen Watson, Joe Thune. Uh, I'm going to be real. Kelsey is not putting up the numbers as the other receivers. I know it sounds crazy, but I would rather have Jalen Watson. <laughs> I would rather have Jalen Watson and then tag and trade Thune, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. So... I'm gonna dump this contract for Thuni, spread it out so that way it's less money. I'm gonna tag and trade Joe Thuni. I need these picks to help maintain the team. And Travis Kelsey, sorry, you're gone, bud. So right now, let's remove Joe Thuni. We're gonna franchise tag him after I sign Jalen Watson. Let's do player friendly. It's really not even that much. We'll sign him back as depth for the team. We're gonna tag Joe Thuni. We're losing Leo Chanel and Travis Kelsey. And apart from that, let's move into the draft. 
In the first round, getting Travis Kelsey's replacement, Kevin Bayless, no dev, sucks, but 6'3", 237 out of Wisconsin, 82 speed, 88 acceleration, A's across the board, he looked really good, I guess he's more of a run blocking, well actually he's technically a vertical threat, hopefully he can develop for us. In the second round, getting right outside linebacker, Shamir Rivers out of Wisconsin, 6'2", 221, 89 speed, 90 acceleration, hit and dev, A zone coverage, B tackle, B hit power, and A pursuit. In the third round, getting Joe Thune's potential replacement, Ian Stewart out of Louisville, 6'4", 304, hit and dev, 85 strength, 1A and 1B on the board. Now this is the team moving into year number three. I have yet to win a Super Bowl with this team. I know, it's EA for you. I'll blame them instead of, instead of, instead of blaming myself here. Rivers is a 73 overall. Looks like the A, I got this guy named Crutchfield, I guess. But we've got nice depth here. The team looks really good. I just need the AI to stop screwing me. It would be really, really cool. But apart from that, I'm going to keep Joe Thune for one more year rather than trading him. Worst comes to worst, he just hits free agency. But I'm going to try to maintain this team the best I possibly can. I'll think about tagging and trading him at the end of the year. But for now, let's move into the midseason. 7-0, top of the division. My passing defense is 23rd now. I don't know how that changed. My defense is entirely the same. But sure. Anyways, what do I need for the team? Uh, for them to win the game because they're the Chiefs. For now, I'll just scout safety. For the players ready to negotiate. Oh my God, I got to bring all these guys back. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. We need to win this year. Swan Taylor's not coming back. I'll tell you that right now. Joe Thune, I can't even tag and trade him at this point. Whatever. We're going to have to thug it out. I'm not going to tag Tooney in the middle. Of, I'm not going to trade Tooney in the middle of the season. Rasheed Rice, you're coming back. He's getting $23 million a year. He resigns. Trent McDuffie, I want back too. Oh no, please just accept a little bit less money. Please don't be so picky about this. Thank you. Thank you for accepting the slightly less money. George Karloftis, Jawan Taylor, and everyone else. We're going to be losing here. It's unfortunate, but for now, let's move into the playoffs and we better win the Super Bowl this year. 17-0. I was considering hopping into the divisional, but I just want to show that EA is going to screw me regardless. <laughs> Stats and awards. Patrick Mahomes is the league MVP for sure. All right, never mind. It's Joe Burrow. I guess it's Burrowhead, baby. First on, first in offensive yards in the NFL, second in defense. 4,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, 122 pass rating. Isaiah Pacheco, 25 touchdowns, 5.8 per carry, 1,700 yards. That's an X factor. Rasheed Rice, 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns. Xavier Worthy, 7 touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards. Kevin Bayless, the rookie tight end. That's star dev. 10 touchdowns, 900 yards as a rookie. He's, pre he's outperforming Kelsey. Kelsey in the previous year had 900 yards and five touchdowns. Marquise Brown, five touchdowns, 800 yards. I guess you're here along for the ride. I, that's about it. And I'm paying him 11 million a year. But Nick Bolton, 105 tackles, tackles for a loss, 18 for Chris Jones, sacks, six for Chris Jones. Where is the pressure? Where is the pressure? Interceptions, three for Nick Bolton, safeties, one for Chris Jones, and defensive touchdowns, one for Trent McDuffie. Guess we don't need pressure whenever we're 17 and 0. Yeah, if I go into the fourth season without a Super Bowl win after being 17-0, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be really upset. 8-9 Bills, we're going to lose to the 8-9 Bills as we're 17-0. Show it to me. Show it to me. Oh, we humiliated them. 56-17, I'm not losing. No way I lose to Pittsburgh. If it was Baltimore, it would make sense. Pittsburgh, the EA Sports. Vic, you just suck at the game. How am I supposed to do anything about that? Tell me. Oh, well, you could have hopped into the game. Why would I possibly hop in against J.J. McCarthy? That's who I just lost to. My 17-0 Chiefs team just lost to J.J. McCarthy. Oh, well, he's a, he's a national championship winner, Vic, so it makes sense why you would lose. Let's move into the fourth and final year with no Super Bowl win yet. So I have come to the conclusion that unless you hop into the game and stop the AI from being mentally retarded, your team's just going to lose. That's just how it works. And if your team is an 8-9 team, you'll most likely win the Super Bowl if you make the playoffs at 8-9. But Patrick Queen wins the Super Bowl MVP as the Steelers with J.J. McCarthy. He's a winner, guys. He's a winner. That's what matters. Joe Burrow wins the league MVP. Isaiah Pacheco, Offensive Player of the Year. And Kevin Bayless, my tight end, wins Rookie of the Year. And in the AFC West, Zedarius Smith wins... Uh, he doesn't win anything. He retired. I just blanked because my dog just barked at me randomly. For the team upgrades, Rasheed Rice is a 99. Isaiah Pacheco is a 99 X-Factor. Bayless goes from normal to superstar. Trey Smith gets superstar dev. They're balling here. Nick Bolton gets superstar dev. Rivers is a star dev. Crutchfield is a superstar dev. Team is low-key balling. 90 overall team. Can't wait for it to just crumble into oblivion. Who is this guy? Connor? My boy? 
Okay, I guess you have star dev now. Why does my starting free safety not get the star dev? All right, I guess more depth. Why not? Anyways, let's move into the re-signings. Were the players ready to negotiate? Sure, I'll accept the option on Xavier Worthy. Can I tag George Karloftis? I mean, I could tag Joe Thune. He's an 87, but I already drafted his replacement. I think I am just going to tag George Karloftis here for the final year, just so that way I have some type of edge rusher. Let's do team friendly, five year, drop out his entirety of his money. We're going to cheese around this and just keep tagging players because I'm trying to maintain the team. Again, the best I possibly can here, George Karloftis. You're going to get next to nothing in your pay. You want to test free agency, and I say nah. Anyways, seven, negative 17 million, haven't participated in free agency once because it's about, again, maintaining the team, not rebuilding it. Let's move into the draft. In the first round, picking up our new right tackle to replace Jawan Johnson, Reggie Hunt out of Ohio State, 6'4", 307, 83 strength, 76 acceleration. Hidden dev is the big thing, but not really developing him, but he's going to be the starter. And with my other first round pick that I got from the Texans for trading back from pick number three, 6'2", 204 out of Georgia is Joseph Broyles out of hit, with Hidden Dev out of Georgia. I don't know why I said that twice. 88 speed, 80 acceleration is kind of slow, but A man coverage and A tackle is nice. Now this is the team moving into the fourth and final year. I guess we got another receiver. We had Keon Coleman this entire time. I didn't even know. Anyways, the team, it's been stacked. AI, stop screwing me and just give me my win. Like, it's that simple. Don't let J.J. McCarthy and Tua beat me. What dangerous threats I have to deal with. Fourth and final year, I'm going to be pissed if we just, if we don't win the Super Bowl. We should have won it in year number one or two. Anyways, let's move into the playoffs. 16-1, and one, top of the division, just for us to lose in the divisional round. I'm not going to let that happen. I have to jump in. Mahomes, that's definitely league MVP. Yep, undeniable this time. Best offense in the NFL. Andy Reid is apparently the greatest coach of all time. And eighth best defense. Almost 5,000 yards, 50 touchdowns. Probably has a rushing touchdown. Yeah, he's two of them. So 51 total touchdowns to only three interceptions. 130 pass rating. Stellar season. MVP. 19 touchdowns. 4.8 per carry. 1,300 yards for Pacheco. 1,300 yards. 23 touchdowns for Rasheed Rice. Is probably breaking your receiving record. Kevin Bayless. We seamlessly went from one Hall of Fame tight end to another one. 116 receptions, 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns. Marquise Brown, six touchdowns, 900 yards. Xavier Worthy, 800 yards, seven touchdowns. Let me see this record here for the most receiving touchdowns in the season. Yeah, Rasheed Rice tied CD Lamb apparently in 2026. Randy Moss, realistically, he just tied Randy Moss for the record. And rushing wise, well, receiving wise, no, we've already seen this. Let me go to defense. Thank you. Nick Bolton, 147 tackles. Tackles for a loss. 12 for Felix Uzama. Sacks, 10.5 for Chris Jones. 5 for Shamir Rivers, I guess. And receptions, 4 for TJ Tampa. I guess they're not starting George Karloftis at the rush right end. I have to adjust it every time because it's Madden. Carl Crutchfield with the safety and zero defensive touchdowns. So who are we going to be playing in the divisional round? Regardless of who it is, I'm going to have to hop in and play because throughout this entirety of the maintaining the team, it's been stupid. It's been really stupid. Ravens are a really good team. They're 9-8, and eight, though. We shouldn't have a problem beating them. I don't want to rebuild the stadium. Please let me play the game. And apart from that, let's see if we can beat them. Here we are against the Ravens. I am absolutely going to lose my mind if we lose this game. Like, I'm actually going to be pissed. 7 nothing start. We're like, we're 16-1 and one. if I lose to a 9-8 and eight Ravens team. I'm going to be upset. 21 nothing. We're blowing them out of the water. Fourth, fourth quarter, just don't choke defense, offense, putting another three on the board. That's fine. We win only by a touchdown after being up by three touchdowns, but I'll take it. Win's a win. Let's move on to the conference championship. Here to face J.J. McCarthy and the Steelers. He's a winner, guys. He's a winner. Let me hop into this. Here we are against the Steelers. They're going to start out with seven. We're going to respond with nothing. And wow, great start, guys. 14-0, 14-7 here. Tied up, tied up. 14-14. Second half is coming. We're going to open up the half with seven points, 21-21. Please, this really shouldn't be, like, hard. Come on. Oh, well, Steelers on top, baby. No, screw the Steelers. They're not good in real life. Yeah, Russell Wilson's going to lead us to the promised land. Now I have to finish the game. I know the AI won't. Why is it so bright? We're going to have probably Rasheed Rice underneath, if I'm assuming. Yeah, Rasheed Rice underneath can be wide open. Lay down or just get tackled. That's cool, too. Either way, we're in field goal range. I'm going to run the ball out and finish the game. Harrison Butker, wind is against us. Let's see if he drills it here. Wind is against us. 59-yarder. Harrison Butker is going to send us to the Super Bowl. Would you look at that? 
whenever I have to hop into a game against a 9-8 and eight team against my 16-1 and one Kansas City Chiefs, we win the game. What a surprise. The AI is so stupid. Anyways, let's move into the Super Bowl. And finally, after three conference championships, we are finally in the Super Bowl with Marquise Brown to get him a ring here. And Team Bayless, seamlessly another X-Factor tight end for us. Team is crazy. Didn't even need it. Travis Kelsey. Nick Bolton is also an X-Factor here. Apart from that, let's finally just win the Super Bowl and end this rebuild well, and, and the maintaining of the team. In Tampa, we got a rain game Super Bowl here. 14 0 start for the Chiefs, as it should be. We're 16 and 1. Should have been a domination throughout this entire rebuild, but it's EA. 27 to 7, 30 to 7, 37 7. Yeah, this is how it should have been throughout the entire rebuild with my 16 and 1 crazy stack team. Humiliation against the Vikings, 51 to 14. This is how it always should have been. Should have been like this in year number one as the Vikings traded up for Jaden Daniels. And wow, Patrick Mahomes drops 400 yards and five touchdowns with Marquise Brown. Did Marquise Brown ball out? I'd kind of like to know that. He, no, is Xavier Worthy. No, he did four receptions for 39 yards. Whatever. He gets a Super Bowl ring here. Your Super Bowl MVP is Patch Mahomes, and your league MVP is Patch Mahomes. No other awards here for the Chiefs. Finally getting Marquise Brown, his Super Bowl ring, in the fourth year. Should have happened way earlier. And what I've learned today, and what I should have known this entire time, is your AI will not do anything. You're going to have to hop in and do it yourself. But I'll keep to the rule that I don't hop into the divisional round unless it's the fourth and final year. And I'll just, I should have just hopped in the conference championship into the first and the third year. But now I did it for this final year and we won the Super Bowl. So anyways, guys, apart from that, make sure you like and or subscribe. I thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one.